part three of uh, repairing the steam iron. I told you the, on the part two that the problem was in the coil and it's my fault of misdiagnosing that it isn't. 2260 ohms is uh, absolutely fine for that coil. I bought a spare one for six euros. And it turned out that it had exa exactly the same, uh, exactly the same resistance on the coil. So the valve if se itself was clogged up. You can watch my other video in the channel on how you can clean it up. But basically, you undo this metal bit from the brush one, pull the valve out, clean everything with a wire brush, and put everything back together. Uh, I don't have an operator to to make a video for that and I don't have my tripod but that's how you fix it you take everything apart you pull the valve out you clean the valve or you change the coil the correct resistance here it's 2200 ohms average put everything back together and it's gonna be working of course do all of the checks we did in part one and part two and everything is gonna be working again I'll put everything back together and I will show you the steam iron working anything else now make sure if you got any sealant if you have any sealant, put a little bit of sealant on the end of the thread. I think it's gonna be helpful. That's it. I'm very sorry if you watched part one and part two and you thought that this is a problem. I'll put in the description below that uh, I was not right. That's the coil. I bought exactly the same one, the same brand and uh, still made in Italy. I was like, ah, oh, that sounds right. To see the, to see the assembly, just watch everything in backwards from part one and part two. That will be the end and I will uh, make a short video of the Steam iron working. See you on the next one.